I can barely believe it, but I am at a car boot sale. The first soggy field of 2024. And believe me, it is soggy. I don't know if you can see the wetness on my screen there, but it was supposed to be on last week, this boot. It's the first boot sale of the year that I can, of my regulars that I would go to. <clears throat> Due to open last week, but it was too wet. The field was too soggy, so they canceled it off. They also run a Saturday one, which was also canceled but I was at the resale summit, so we didn't miss anything there because I was never gonna be going to that boot sale anyway. But they said it was gonna be on this week. On the Facebook group, by the way, if um, if you don't visit car boot sales and are interested, Facebook is definitely the first port of call. It is where they use, um, it's the platform that most boot sales use to update and just give information and also on the day let you know if it is on so obviously everyone's woken up this morning and gone what it wasn't supposed to rain <laughs> and it has rained but it's still on and the cars are piling in so gonna persevere get out there it says it's due for light rain for the next two hours so we will see how it goes but cross our fingers get out in the field and let's enjoy the first boots out of 2024 this is one of those boot sales that takes a while to get going you know everyone gets lit in at six o'clock so it's a mad rush at the beginning as everybody piles in sellers and buyers but yeah it takes a little while walk around again in a little bit everything should be set up all right back of the car to dump the bag off i think um what we do is well not think i know because i haven't got the camera strapped to me so i'll just show you some bits that i put in the car and then we'll get back to the garage a bit later and go for them properly I've got a little bundle here, so three pairs of shoes, Roland Cartier Italy. I've never heard of the brand, but you know they're in pretty good condition with a tassel, so I'll give them a go. So it was them, this Samuel Windsor pair of like slip-on leather things, which look barely worn. So one, two, a pair of Clarks, just kind of standard, like nice size 10, like work shoes. Again, very light wear. So it was those three and a pair of brand new tag Charles here moleskin um, trousers and I've got all four of those for £12 so three quid each. This little handbag, I haven't checked any of this stuff yet but inside here it was made in England, made in Norwich I think it was. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Yeah, what does that say? Can you see that? No, it's my thumbs in the way. There you go, made in England, McLaren, that was it. McLaren made in Norwich, England so I thought it looks like it's got a bit of age to it. We'll try that, that was two pounds. These couple of pictures for a pound each, very, very damaged, but I don't think the actual print is damaged. So I thought I'd give them a go, because some of these can, can do pretty well. And then this, I can't remember for the life of me what this is, but I'm sure I've seen one before, and I'm sure they they can fetch a little bit of dosh. Obviously it's French, Chambost, Paris. But yeah, I'll have to, um, I'll have to look this up, because I don't know what it is at the moment, but it was two pounds. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, that's quite a nice item as well. So we're gonna get back out there, find some more stuff. Right, another bag full. I've barely made it out there, but something that used to semi go against my principles at a boot sale is, is paying up for things. But obviously heading into the year full time, have to diversify a little bit. And when you see Uggs, one pair of Uggs, another, another pair of Uggs, and a pair of like, high Timberlands and another pair of high Timberlands. You kind of got to jump it. So she wanted 20 quid a pair, so two, four, six, 80 pounds. And then um, we made it down to 60. So effectively, buy three, get one free. Well, actually, I think she wanted 15 on, a, on one, actually. I can't remember which one it was, maybe the smaller rugs. But anyway, yeah, 60 quid for that lot. You know, I should at least double my money, shouldn't I? I think. Um, they're not going to be hanging around, so like I say, I'll get back to the garage and we'll proper price them up. Why am I putting them back in the bag? Get out of the bag. Um, yeah, we'll proper, proper price them up back at the garage. But right now, I'm not even halfway around, so I need to get back out there. So, a little shot of the actual boot sale. Normally, like when the height of summer, this would be completely and utterly full field. Bit of a kind of antiques roadshow at times. There's a lot of traders here that sell antique collectible items but it's a nice mixture of house clearance mixed in there and the odd kind of average person just selling their gear which is kind of what I like but 
Certainly not bad for a first one on a soggy morning. I seem to not be able to stop seeing eyes when they go at the moment. <laughs> Classic old burn. All right, and now it really is actually raining. So it's time to go home. But I did grab a few more bits. So I've got this big box of cars here. They're all um, either matchbox or corgi. So I need to do a bit of research into them, obviously, but pretty decent played with condition. So I think it's chopped. I think that's an empty box that he chucked in. <laughs> so that's, that one's pretty cool. Oh, troll close card there. Then also grab this Pioneer amp. Obviously, no idea if it works, but it looks pretty good. You can see on the inside doesn't seem to be any kind of water damage or anything. So yeah, that was a tenner. Did I say about the cars? The cars are a fiver from the same people, so like 15 quid that like house parents be. And then I also got this. It's a big long like cardigan. Gibby, Gibby Romania, made in Italy. It is. 50% wool, 50% mohair, and that was two pounds, so I couldn't really say no to that. But yeah, let's get back and have a look at these a bit, a bit in more detail. Right, so back in the garage now. It was far from a mega haul, was it? As I was leaving, as you saw, it started to rain, so it was probably about half the size of what it will be kind of going forward when it gets a bit warmer and sunnier, but it just felt nice to be back out in a soggy field. But the first thing we got, I think, was this little shoe bundle bear with me so i got four items from this guy i've picked up a lot of things from him in the past saw these at first they are so dusty i don't know if you can see how much dust is on these but yeah black leather um tassel shoes by roland cartier made in italy um turns out that actually they're nothing fantastic at all. I think probably maybe like 20 quidish back on them. Then we've got these Clarks, nice simple black shoe, kind of just, you know, bog standard formal shoe. A lot of people wear these kind of stuff for work. Very, very light use on them. So they were quite nice. These will sell quite well as well. Again, probably like a 2025. And these are probably the most surprising one. I, I steer clear of Samuel Windsor quite a bit used to pick it up if i saw it in the past but hangs around a bit but these like leather slippers like slide on slippers i mean i'm assuming they haven't been worn they look pretty new again still got a similar layer of dust on but they seem to sell for like 25 30 quid so that's not bad and then the last bit from him he had loads and loads of clothes um charles tewitt being um You hear that? That's oh, it's carrying on. That was uh, the little handheld game that came from my auction bundle many, many moons ago. I finally put some batteries in it and tested it out, and yeah, it works. Um, but yeah, brand new with tags, Charles Tierwit. I didn't actually look at the size, so they look like quite a decent size, but they're like a moleskin chino. So all of those four came to £12, so can't really complain at three quid each. Probably going to be seeing. 20 25 back on average for most items so that's quite a nice return on those um just as a little uh, reminder where i said charles tewitt there you may rem remember i bought that striped blue kind of boat regatta looking jacket for six pounds i think it was and that sold for 47 48 plus another like 19 pounds or something to get it over to america so yeah that was a nice sale i'll probably pop a screenshot on but that only went a few days ago but obviously it's packaged and i haven't had a chance to show that so they were the first pickups i've got this little handbag quite proud of this little pickup to be honest because i saw this sitting in a box just like loads and loads of boxes of random stuff and i know that handbags can be quite collectible I've sold a couple recently and i think i showed it in the car but it had inside i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that mclaren of norwich i think it said made in norwich england yeah mclaren and i've just looked it up it seems to be quite similar i don't think it was any listed actually only solds of similar-ish bags for about 25 30 quid so i only paid two pounds for that so yeah vintage style or vintage looking should i say 
because this is vintage um, handbags, can certainly do all right. What did we get next? Was it straight onto? Yeah, actually, this is what I got next. I got this. Now, in the car, I was saying, I'm, I'm sure I know what this is, or I'm sure I've at least seen it before. And I'm almost certain I've seen it before, but I would be lying if I was gonna say I knew what it was without looking it up. And once I looked it up, I was like, ah, oh, yes, I, I do remember now. And it is, does anyone know? A snail dish holder for cooking your snails. Obviously it's French, so written on there is Chambos, Paris Premier, and then on the back it also says Art Ceramic Grand Fed, something like that. But yeah, an interesting thing. Now, very, very annoyingly, I don't know if you can see that on there, it is cracked, and I did not see that. So I paid two pounds for this, and I think, if perfect, probably like 35, 40 pounds, but I think I might list it for maybe about 30-ish, because there's not really anything like this on eBay. It's quite a rare design. Yeah, might just put it up there, see what people offer. Obviously making it very apparent that there is a crack in one of these. But yeah, really nice find. Love finding unusual little different things like that. Now, what do we get next? I think it may well have been... Actually, no, I think it was these. So I'll show you these. So I've got these couple of prints. One and two. Now, you can see my ring light quite well there, can't you? I guess I've got two now. They are... There's... There's a signature on there that says J-O-B. You can work that out. And doing a little bit of research, seems like it's a, a French, um, what's the word? Like, draw, Ill, illustrator, that's the word I was looking for. Um, did lots of kind of prints and stuff, late 1800s. And I know a lot of these can be quite collectible. Obviously the frames, unfortunately, have had that water damage around them. Now I'm not sure what to do, whether or not, because they're really well framed on the reverse. So I'd obviously have to cut that open to take the print out and have a look. But I'm not sure. But at one pounds each, they were from, I've got something up from where I've got the handbag. So I've got the handbag and I've got these, two pound for the handbag, pound each for these. Some of these things can, you know, fetch pretty decent money, maybe 50, 60 quid a print if they're decent. But still, definitely more research needed. Hopefully I'll be able to update you about those a bit more in the future. Then we moved on to the shoes. So, bear with me, I'll carry them over. So, this lady had so many random things. She had loads of jelly cat dolls, brand new jelly cats. She wanted 15 quid a piece on the jelly cats. She had shoes, she had trainers, toys, clothes it was a real mad mix what she had but i saw the uggs sitting there so the first ones i saw were these sitting down now obviously i could see the ugg label at the back they are in very very nice condition i think they you know they have been worn because there is a little stones and a bit of dirt on the back but it looks like maybe like once or twice they're in very very nice condition like the fur inside looks as if it's barely, barely changed. But they're a decent size, these ones. These are a size five and a half. Not as decent as the others, but yeah. So I got four pairs for 60 pounds, basically. Four of these pairs that I'm gonna show you. These, I don't think are as desirable as the other ones, but hopefully should be able to see, what, 40-ish on these, maybe? Maybe pushing 50, so that was nice. But then we've got these ones. Now these are, you know, I'm certainly no UGG professional, but I know these are, you know, the slightly more classic design. We've got UGG written across the front there. And these are a size seven. Again, barely anywhere to them whatsoever. They have been worn because there is, again, some dirt on there, but very, very nice condition. Now these could fetch more in the region of maybe 70 to 80, hopefully. So, that was nice. And then there was a couple of Timberlands as well, like high lace up brown leather Timberlands. Again, size six on these ones. Very, very light use. Or have they even been worn these ones? Maybe these are brand new. 
they look certainly very very nice these probably maybe 30 to 40 maybe i could push 50 but they don't seem as desirable from the small checks that i did but these ones these definitely seem to oh, there is a bit of a scuff on that one there but i'm sure i'll be able to get out with a light brush because they quite clearly haven't been worn so it's just about um making sure we get those kind of surface scuffs off which should be able to do with a light brush but yeah these could fetch around maybe 70 to 80 as well so very very nice find there i think these are a big size yeah these are eight so i should have probably asked her if she had more stuff you know kind of moving forward but i was happy with what i picked up uh, with her from there for 60 quid it's going to be some decent profit in those and then the final two pickups i picked up this big box of cars now there's all kinds of stuff in here and i i was having a little flick through asked how much he wanted and he had a little look and said the whole lot for a fiver now i'm far from a professional knowledge level at model cars but what i do know is that corgis are very very collectible because i obviously watch a lot of auctions and the collectible auctions there's always dinky corgi cars in there boxed can fetch some really 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 good money but i did see this one which is a lotus alan with the roof you know not the best condition but pretty nice condition and it is obviously corgi on the bottom as well and this can if boxed be seen around 70 to 80 pounds in played with condition like this now these stickers i don't believe are original i will take those off give it a bit of a clean up to get rid of the sticky residue but in that condition that could see maybe 20 to 30 pounds so that kind of makes the bundle worthwhile but there are a few other nice ones in there as well nice little Renault 5 BP Renault 5 turbo I used to love Renault 5 turbos when I was younger got a cool uh, Lancia a rally Lancia in there again could be worth maybe five ten quid what else was there anything else I think there was yeah this was a Golf GTI that could be worth again five ten quid even this one um, a Corgi Saab 9000 Fire Chief. Quite a lot of people asking some high money for that, but I don't think there were any solds. And then the rest, you know, there's a couple of trucks. There's like a Weetabix, Weetabix truck and trailer. And a few other bits and pieces in there. Milk chocolate Yorkie. Pretty cool. It's quite an old design looking Yorkie, isn't it? So yeah, they were quite nice. So they were a fiver, and then from the same guys, I'd actually bought them after this, but I also got this. Actually, I'm not gonna bring that over. It was the amplifier, but I'll, sh I'll probably um, show you in future the way I've tested it, but I've plugged it in, it's powering on fine. All the buttons are working, all the volume and all that kind of stuff is good. So fingers crossed, we will be all good on that. Obviously I've got speakers in here that I can test it with to make sure it is fully working. And then the final pickup was this one. This big long cardigan. It's actually, I don't know, second item of clothing that I picked up. Picked up the trousers. And then this big long cardigan. It was just laid out on the floor. Brand was uh, Gabby Roma. Made in Italy. 50% wool, 50% mohair. Yeah, just a nice, real thick. I think that that's uh, quite a nice design of cardigan that someone is going to want. Price wise, not too sure, maybe 20 to 30, I guess, but it will be a guess. So yeah, day one, my pickups from the boot sale. Can't really complain. Obviously it's the very first one of the year. Would have liked to have been bigger, but I still think there's some decent profit in the items I picked up today. Now, I picked up a couple of things at charity shop that are worthwhile sharing as well. This being the first, which is a lamp now. You may know by now, I like picking up a lamp. And this one just screamed out on the shelf as being quite quality, kind of nice, strong, wide wooden base with a chrome bit there, going wood up to the top with a bit more chrome. And, like, and it's heavy chrome, not cheap, tacky plastic chrome. But to look at the base, you'll see a little label that says on there, Heathfield and Co. Now Heathfield and Co, to buy new, some expensive lamps probably 100 pound plus maybe 150 to 200 for some of them 
So this is not a cheap lamp when it was purchased new and I paid five pounds for it. And I would like to think there is a, you know, a couple of little dents. It's far from perfect, but it is very, very nice. I should hopefully be able to, to 10 times on that. I'd like to think I'll be asking about 50 to 60 quid on this on eBay. So yeah, that was a nice find. I do love lamps, <laughs> as you well know. And now I've got these. Very, very funky design pair of curtains. I keep having to tap this so the screen doesn't go off. I should probably look to see if there's just a way that I can keep the front screen on permanently, but I haven't looked still. Here we go. These look. Nice, cool, funky design on those. When curtains are cheap, I find it hard not to pick them up. I still have quite a few curtains, but they tend to be very cheap. These are a fiver, so really, really, I mean, if you can see on my arm there, you can see just how long these are. This is a really, really long pair of curtains, which obviously always goes in their favor. And they were fiver, they were five pound. I think the label's on there, is it? Yeah, five pounds with the matching tie backs as well, you know. And you can see some really crazy money on curtains. When they're only a fiver, and there's a potential that I can get 60, 70, 80 quid for them, you know, you've got to give it a try, haven't you? So yeah, pick those up as well. I don't think there's much else that I've picked up recently. I really haven't been doing a lot of sourcing with the exception of this boot sale. So yeah, that's what we've got for now. Right, this video has turned out to be just a bit of everything now. Started off as a boot sale video, but the boot sale was a little flat, obviously. So there wasn't a huge amount to pack the time with, but I just keep thinking of things that maybe I wanna just pop in. So one thing I would, ask um, opinions I suppose let me know your thoughts because I have let me turn this around I have this now it's a pretty cool item let's have a look it is a, Panas a Pioneer laser laser disc player CLD 99S now if you look this up people say it's like the creme de la creme of laser disc players I've had it for a little while but and it's a quite a big butt, obviously. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where is it? It is a Japanese plug. Now, a Japanese plug. If you um, you know, look into things, it's like um, different voltage, and I, th I mean, I can't claim to know much about the electrical side of things but i know you can't just you need like a step down converter i think they call it and they're like 40 50 quid minimum so i've always been put off buying one so i just wondered is there any other way of testing this i've never really looked into alternative ways am i just going to have to take the pun and buy it because that unit is like 200 quid minimum if it works it's a very very nice unit for resale but it is obviously Japanese and I need to make sure that it works before I sell it so yeah if anyone has any ideas please let me know this was the other unit I bought today may as well show you that now and just show you that it does power on there you know all the buttons are working and you push that it lights on and off the input selector twist it around and the lights change all that kind of stuff so it's good to go I just need to get it plugged in with some speakers to check it out and then the other thing I just thought I would note would mention is that I haven't been, well, I've, I've been away, obviously, with the resale summit and stuff, which was great, had a fantastic time, but I don't schedule listings ever. Like, it's just not something I do. I, I work very much on the day, you know, listing things, uh, photographing things, listing things in that regard, like in a day to day business, rather than too far in advance. Now, I, probably, I would if I could, but I just I haven't got that time. Uh, so I haven't listed now in five days and the sales have been great like non-stop sales coming through and I am a big advocate as well like most people are of if you list you list you list you list you tickle the eBay algorithm that's what's going to get you or help you get sales but you know I've had some really really good days the past few days things have just been absolutely flying out so I've got a few pics. I thought I would show you the kind of stuff that's going. But like I've sold this £150 uh, knitting machine. And I've had this a little while. Bought it at um, auction for not much. 15 20 quid. And I had it as collection only. 
And then someone messaged me and said, w would you send it? So I thought, oh, I'll have a look. And I looked into it and actually it really wasn't going to cost that much to send. So because of that, I ended it, relisted it again at the same price, free postage, just to entice more people. And it sold quite quickly. So yeah, that's going off for £150. We've got the absolutely lovely... You've seen this. You would. This was in one of my videos. I picked this up in a video. John Smedley. I absolutely love picking up John Smedley. Just sells so nicely. I think I did pay eight quid for that one, didn't I? But it has gone for twenty nine ninety nine. So arguably can get more for them, but wasn't too bad. This I also mentioned in a recent video about um, old school golf stuff, tailor made like a, a windproof jacket like a smock type jacket like pullover long sleeve one that went for 35 pounds on vinted these have gone for 32.99 was it they cost me a fiver not too long ago so yeah a few little nice sales heading out that were worth sharing as well I think I'm going to have to call it a day now. I think this video is going to be a bit longer than I was assuming it might be. So we had a bit of everything in there. We've got some boot sale pickups. We've got a couple of charity shop pickups. We've got some rambling about laser disc players. And we've got a few sales as well. So hope you enjoyed that. I hope that video was all right. A little bit of a different one. But um, yeah, going forward, fingers crossed, there's going to be a lot more boot sale content now. Because as I'm looking outside, it's already... A lot brighter than it was this morning and fingers crossed that's how we're going to be now it was like 10 11 degrees so it was certainly warm enough it's just about hopefully being dry but yeah i will leave it there thank you very much for watching as always if you did enjoy it please don't forget to leave a like and if you aren't subscribed of which many many viewers aren't where you can see on the old analytics then please do consider subscribing if you do enjoy reselling content because that is all we'll be doing going forward on this channel so yeah Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one.